In this video, we will be looking at mechanics. So this is what this course is about. BME 201 is about mechanics. So this course is actually a combination of two fields of mechanics that are known as statics and dynamics. Statics deals with elements that are in equilibrium. This is acceleration. And this squiggly line is what this course uses to denote vectors. So in the past, you might have seen the i-hat or this notation. Another way to denote vectors is to put a squiggly line under whichever thing you are talking about. So we could show acceleration in these alternative ways, but this is what this course uses. In dynamics, there is acceleration. Often when we are doing statics, we are looking at bodies that are either in rest or are moving at a constant velocity. So acceleration is zero. Whereas in dynamics, the body that we are analyzing is changing velocity. Acceleration is not equal to zero. Now, I'm going to write an equation that you have seen before, and this will become the heart of this course. This is what mechanics is all about. Mechanics is F equals MA. These two are vectors, this guy and this guy, vectors, and this is a scalar quantity, it's mass. So we're looking at force equals mass times acceleration. So we talked about how mechanics can be divided into two parts, statics and dynamics. So in statics, we will be considering two elements. So when I say an element, let's say we're looking at the statics of a cube that is just sitting on the ground. So this object here is the element that we're analyzing, basically. And there are multiple types of elements that we are going to be looking at. One of them are rigid bodies. What you're seeing here is a rigid body. A rigid body is a non-deformable object. So let's say I apply a force on this cube in this direction. If this was a deformable object, you could see potentially see something like this. If this uh, cube isn't very strong, then what would happen when you apply the force is you will see that area deform. And the more force you apply, the more messed up it gets, and so on and so forth. But this is what distinguishes a rigid body from a deformable body. In BME 201, we do not consider deformable bodies. Let me put a big X on that. We do not, we do not consider this. Because this is a little too complicated, and for now we need to have a good understanding of statics. and after you take this course, if you want to study uh, deformable bodies, then you'd have to take this class called ME226. This will do deformable bodies. But for now, we do not care about deformable bodies. We assume that every object that we look at is a rigid body. Now, apart from a rigid body, there's another type of element that we will consider. And that element is called a particle. A particle. Particles do not differ very much from rigid bodies, except they make things simpler. So let's say I'm trying to um, predict the forces on a vehicle, right? I could draw this vehicle, and it would take me a little bit of time to do that. And I could say this is where the um, weight of the car is located. This is where the weight of the 
passenger is located. This is the normal force, so on and so forth. You see, this gets a little messy because we have to draw things out. If it's a cube, it's relatively easy to draw the forces. This is the weight, whatever, so on and so forth. However, the way to get around this, if, if we have a complex object that looks like a car, we draw a particle and then we draw the forces on it. So this would be the force of the, um, this would be the weight, let's say, and then this would be uh, the weight of the passenger, the normal force, so on and so forth. You can make things a lot simpler. So for statics, this is the second type of element that we will be considering in this course. So that's pretty much it with statics. We'll be considering these two things. And uh, one thing that's, that's going to be coming up a lot while doing statics is these two things right here. You will see them a lot. And um, this is because since F equals MA, if acceleration is zero, then M times A is zero. Therefore, the summation of forces is zero. So uh, we'll get into that in a deeper detail soon, but this isn't very complicated. So moving on to dynamics, we have two sections. Kinematics and kinetics and kinetics. So what's the difference between the two? The difference is kinematics is considered with more like the trajectory of an object. So let's say I throw a ball and I want to see where it lands. That would be considered kinematics. And kinetics is more, uh, let's say there is an ice cube, frictionless surface. I'm applying force in this direction. Uh, and we want to see how does the motion of that ice cube change with that force that we're putting on it. 